She simply blew us away with her recent Super Bowl performance. It is, of course, the one and only Rihanna. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at her designer bag collection and her favorite arm candy pieces. Hey everyone, Steph here. I will, of course, pop links in the description box down below for you so that you can shop this video super easily. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to be revealing out of Rihanna's favorite designer bags, which one's my favorite. The first bag, in Rihanna's collection is one from Judith Lieber. Now, if you aren't familiar with Judith Lieber creations, they are absolutely exceptional. They are all crystal creations and she makes some really fun, quirky ones. I've spotted quite a few now at Harrods in London and the range is just so fun. But the one Rihanna had was actually quite a classic style. She wore the classic side lock clutch bag, which perfectly matched the dress she was wearing. So the dress I think was really out there. It took up a lot of space and it really was a statement. And then I can understand why she went for Judith LeBert with this outfit because the bag is still out there and it really suits the outfit, but it doesn't take away from the dress itself. Now these do retail into the many thousands of dollars depending on which style of bag you go for. And if you didn't know, fun fact, the Kardashians actually collaborated with Judith LeBeau in 2022 for Christmas. They each designed their own bag which reflected their personalities. Like I said, when I saw some recently in London, there was this beautiful crystal dog and I still think about it to this day. The second bag in Rihanna's collection that she loves is one from Stalvi. This isn't a brand to be honest that I know a whole lot about, but this is what I love about checking out other people's collections. It is discovering new brands and styles. So this is the beauty case from Stalvi that Rihanna wore with this like beautiful lilac, almost satin dress. She had this bag in the most beautiful lilac to match with the dress. And it also looks like it was made from lizards. So this one retails at around seven thousand dollars in the US. I like that this one has a top handle, it has a lock closure for security, but it doesn't look like it comes with any other kind of strap. So I feel like this one works maybe well for the red carpet, special events, but definitely if you're looking for a piece that has more versatility to it, this isn't going to be the one. Bag number three is also classic, but can be incredibly fun. So I think fits Rihanna's style perfectly again. This is the Christian Dior saddle bag. Now she has quite a few saddle bags. We have spotted her numerous times, but two of the main ones that I've seen and really stood out was this. This is a full size one in like a denim washed out blue. And she wore this when she was pregnant with a, like a denim and fur, really long coat. She wore denim jeans and and the bag was just the icing on the cake for this outfit. It seems like Rihanna definitely likes to pick her bags to suit her outfit. So the outfit is the main statement and then the bag just matches that look. And of course she has a micro version of the saddle bag. This is not a practical size by any stretch of the imagination. It is a tiny, tiny bag, but they are incredibly cute. She was spotted with a nudie pink color version of the micro Dior saddle. She teamed this with an oversized pink fur coat and I believe hers was actually made from fabric but you can currently get the leather ones and they also do limited edition like Dior saddle bags. And this is what I love so much. The Dior saddle is a classic bag from Christian Dior but you can get so many different color options now, different fabrics, you can get like matte black, you can get crocodile if you want to go exotic. So you can really mix up the look and I really like bags like this because like I said, they are elegant, they are timeless, but they can be incredibly fun at the same time. Bag number four that Rihanna loves is another one from Dior. Now it's worth noting you can't buy this exact style anymore and Rihanna actually buys and uses a lot of vintage bags. So they generally aren't current season and they can be harder to find, but that can make it even more fun shopping the pre-loved market to try and find some of these pieces if you want the exact same thing. But there is a bag that looks very similar. In fact, I actually prefer this bag. This is the Montaigne East West bag. It features the Dior oblique print exactly like Rihanna was wearing with hers and 
I just think these again are so classy, so fun. You can get the canvas oblique prints and you can also get full leather versions if you are looking for something a little bit more understated. If you are seriously considering a 30 East West Montaigne bag from Dior, they retail at just over 2,500 pounds in the UK and just over $3,000 in the US. Bag number five is actually definitely not one of my favorite styles of designer bags, but Rihanna wore it so well. But spoiler alert, it won't be featured at the end of the video when I share with you my favorite bag from her collection. But this is testament to Rihanna and how she pulls her outfits together. This is the Jackie Mu Lee Chiquito bag. Now this comes in so many different sizes. You can also get like tiny, tiny microscopic versions of this bag. It looks like Rihanna had a mini version. I very much doubt anything was actually inside of this bag but the color matches perfectly with her outfit. We have like a deconstructed dress here in this vibrant orange and the bag again goes perfectly with the outfit but it doesn't stand out or take away from the outfit. It just kind of expands the outfit even further. And this color with the gold hardware, amazing. For the mini Lichiquito bag, you are looking at around 500 pounds. Again, linked in the description box down below for you so that you can shop this easily. Bag number six for an all white look that Rihanna wore, but it was leather, so it just looked so edgy. Now, I don't know if this is the exact brand because there is no branding on this bag, but I do believe it is. So I have found a bag that is incredibly similar that you can actually buy. This is the Bottega Veneta pouch bag. So Rihanna wore one of these pouch style bags as a clutch bag with an all white leather look but hers had a croc finish on it. Whereas if you buy a pouch from Bottega Veneta, currently the Latiste weaved leather is the one that is available. But again, I have no doubt this comes in absolutely lots of different color options and also finishes as well. Now I have felt the quality of Bottega Veneta bags, especially as we've done some of our shopping vlogs. If you are a subscriber, you might've seen some of these. If you aren't already and you are a lover of all things luxury, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we get it and not everyone does. But this plaster pouch Pouch, like I say, like the leather Bottega uses is just so good. So if you want to steal Rihanna's style, this one currently retails at $4,200. Bag number seven is from another brand that I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about, but I'm very excited to start discovering. Rihanna wore the KT Medium Olivia Hobo bag. So this is a hobo style bag. It is black and this one has silver crystals in a crisscross pattern across the back. And of course, Rihanna wore this in a head to toe look of crystals. She was just a wall of crystals and her bag, again, an extension of her outfit. So if you are looking for something that will go into the evening, that will be the star of the show. The Olivia Hobo bag from Katie could definitely be one to consider. Now this bag actually reminds me a lot of the Bottega Veneta Jodi bag because of its style. The Ahoba bag has a zip closure, same as the Jodi bag. But the price of this, I think, is even more reasonable than Bottega, maybe because it's not a full leather bag here. But this particular hobo bag with the crystals on retails at around £2,300 in the UK. I'm estimating just under $3,000 in the US. It is simple and I've no doubt it would be easy to grab and go especially of an evening a simple black dress for example or why not go all out like Rihanna and wear crystals head to toe throw this on the shoulder job done and finally bag number eight and I say bag because I will refer to a specific one but just in general Rihanna really likes these styles of bags and that is vintage Louis Vuitton bags she has quite a few she has a pochette accessoire but I think one of the most unique items she has from Louis Vuitton is actually this football bag. I don't even know if it's a bag or if it's a ball that just sits in a leather kind of cradle. But either way, I think what we have noticed or I definitely have noticed throughout this video is that Rihanna doesn't use bags in terms of practicality. These are very much looks, like she is pulling together a look when she considers a bag. And how fun is this Louis Vuitton football? It would definitely catch people's attention for exactly that reason. Is it a real bag or not? And Rihanna is a huge fan of vintage bags purely for their uniqueness and the fact that I guess not everyone can go out and purchase the exact same bag at the same time. Let me know in the comments which bag you're liking the most from Rihanna's collection. Now I promised at the start of the video that I would reveal my favorite and I do have a favorite but then I also have one that I would like to add to my collection 
collection the most. My favourite in terms of her style in general would actually be the Katie Olivia Hobo bag. I really like the look of that. I think it is fun. I just like the crystal detail on it and it is a bit different. Very on trend right now, these kind of shoulder hobo bags as well. But the bag that I would actually most like to add to my collection, it has been on my radar for a while now. So again, if you're a subscriber, you might already know. It's actually the Dior saddle bag. Specifically, I would love a mini size and it's really great to know that Rihanna likes styling these up. She likes getting different sizes of them, different fabric options. And that even though, again, it's a classic bag, you can get pieces that really show off your uniqueness, your style, and add something to your outfit. By the way, if you are a fan of the Dior saddlebag, they have just released it, the mini size, in this fuchsia pink. I am obsessed. I'm still desperate to get my hands on one and see it in person. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link some other celebrity bag collections here. And if you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed.